Hey there gang, Dan from Creepy Creations and for those of you who don't live in a hot climate where bamboo grows easily but you need some bamboo, how about some fake bamboo? Well today I'm going to show you how to make some. It's real easy. So here's our fake bamboo. Uh, looks pretty darn good but it's actually deceptively easy to make. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of wood. We use this uh, replacement broom handle. You can buy it at a hardware store like Home Depot for like three, four bucks. It's cheaper than dowel, just as strong and apart from being a little bit warped, it'll work perfectly. Honestly, the trickiest part of this whole process is finding some way of mounting the wood you're going to use into either a drill or, uh, if you've got one, a wood lathe. We don't have the luxury of a wood lathe, so instead what I've done is I've taken an old handle from an old tripod that we don't use anymore, and it just happens at the end is basically wide enough for me to go and insert what appears to be the threaded end of the wood into the end. So I'm just going to kind of hand twist that in just so it's uh, catching and that should be good enough to uh, allow us to at least turn the wood a little bit because we do need to rotate it somewhat just for part of this uh, process to keep everything a little bit smoother. Now because this wood is so long we can't just leave it sticking straight out. It's not going to support itself and it'll be hard to work with. So instead we've come up with this little rig and a vise. It's just two small pieces of bamboo, real bamboo, uh -huh. and we just cross them so that the wood rests in it and because the uh, outside of the bamboo is so smooth that'll allow this to turn smoothly and support the weight without uh, binding it to, or bogging it down too much. Okay we're going to start it rotating and uh, I'm going to use this utility knife just to cut some uh, grooves along the side of it here. Be careful while you're doing this. Okay, and we've cut just a little groove around there. It doesn't have to go in very deep, just, you know, sixteenth of an inch or so. What this is for is to allow some hot glue, uh, a surface inside the wood to grip onto. And we'll show you why we need to do that in a bit. So let's finish up some of the grooves here. See, if we're not using dowel, it does wobble a little bit, but it's not too bad. Once you get the knife going, We get a nice groove. So here we've cut our uh, little grooves in the wood, roughly uh, a foot apart, give or take. It doesn't have to be perfect, and in fact it shouldn't be, because let's face it, bamboo does not grow in exact, you know, one foot lengths. Now the last part here is we want to run a bead of hot glue around the groove that we just made. So we'll rotate the wood slower this time if we can and just I just kind of let it build up a little and that's really all you need to do. So here you can see we've got the uh, Little loops of glue, hot glue, running around the uh, outside of the wood. And uh, like I said, the only reason we cut that groove there is just to give the glue something to uh, hang on to. Now we're going to do what our mothers told us never to do. Play with fire. Seriously though, we do need to work with a little bit of fire here to finish the effect off. So please be very, very careful. I'm going to use a butane lighter. If you've got a little uh, propane torch or something, do it, but just keep the flame setting very low. What we're going to do is get the flame going and slowly turn the wood. And we're just going to run this under the edge of the, uh, the wood and the glue here.
what we're doing is two things here. We're kind of scorching the glue and the wood to get a little bit of a darkened area around it. And we're also remelting the glue a little bit so that we lose that kind of artificial bead look that we got when we were putting the glue on. And it tends to flatten it out and soften it a bit and kind of mold it against the wood a little more. And when we're done, we get this kind of darkened area like that. This part needs a little more. Actually, I'll rotate that around down to the side here. Around to there. So that we get the top of the flame there to darken it up a little more for us. So it gets that sort of charred look to it, which is really what we want. And no, it's not charred, but you can see we're remelting the glue a little bit. We actually want it to melt. That's fine if it does. See, it just kind of smooths it all out and gives it a more natural look. If you find areas that look a little little weak, just go over them again. That doesn't look too bad. So now that we're done, we can take a closer look at it and you can see we've got the little rings around the outside here with the uh, you know discolored part that we've done with the uh, with the torch or the uh, lighter and uh, like I say, unless you're closely scrutinizing it, you've got yourself some dandy fake bamboo. The wobbling you saw when we were rotating it, that's because it's a cheaply made handle so it isn't perfectly straight. Dowel will definitely be straighter, but it is more expensive, so you can decide on that. Uh, got any questions about making fake bamboo or anything else that we've done here? By all means, drop us a line. In the meantime, stay safe, have fun!